Hello YouTube, it's Akash on JNIT the Akash videos uh, with another episode of Intelligent Gas. So a question is uh, asked by many students that whether we should go for wild gases in exams like J means in it. So my answer to such question is we will think it mathematically. Okay. So mathematics behind it comes from probability. So according to the law, law says that number of options you can derive it mathematically also the number of options multiplied by ratio of uh, the marks for negative answer divided by marks for positive answer should be less than equal to one for you to attempt such kind of questions i repeat this thing number of options multiplied by negative by positive marks okay for j means negative mark is one positive mark is four so ratio is one by four and options number of option is also four okay so number of option into the ratio of negative by positive four into one by four is equal to one so i have said if it is less than one less than equal to one you can go for such kind of attempts so yes in j means you can go for such kind of attempts but it is very less probable that you will either gain mark or lose mark it will be almost close to zero you will be either getting uh, if you answer 10 questions almost you will get zero from this those 10 questions it is the basic thing if, if there is if, if the answer of the, my uh, what i've said the number of questions number of options into positive uh, negative by positive marks the ratio into the number of option is is equal to one then the chance of you getting it correct or chance of you losing mark or getting mark is almost zero you neither lose mark you neither get mark this is the basic thing if it is equal to equal to one but if it is less than one then you will definitely get get mark out of those kind of questions okay so i am giving the example that now in j means or neat you can rule out a single option so you are left with three three options but on the other side the ratio still remains one by four minus one by plus four so it is still one by four so one by four into three it is three by four and it is less than one so you definitely will get some mark out of 10 or 20 questions you marking only by ruling out a single option you'll get marks out of this this kind of questions now coming to those cases where you can rule out two options so now you are left with only two option and the ratio is still one by four so two into one by four is again one by two so again it is less than one and it is even more better see you are first in one you came to 3 by 4 which was a much better thing now you are with 1 by 2 ratio so it is even more better now we have to understand if you can rule out the three questions three options you will be left with the one correct answer and for that the ratio is one option multiplied by 1 by 4 this will give us 1 by 4 so 1 by 4 is the extreme where we want to reach and the one is the ratio where the question is left so it is the case of j means so and need you are in the question it is only one you have to reach up to one by four but we have to understand the thing that in cases of aims beats jipmer there is something different what is the difference there are four options but the ratio of positive by negative the ratio of positive by negative is one by three in all the three exams you can check it out for aim i am not going to tell it again here i will be discussing about the, this exam analysis in a, another video so the ratio is 1 by 3 in AIMS, BEATS and JIPMAR. 1 by 3 for any normal question which for which you cannot rule out any of the options. There are 4 options you cannot rule out any of the options. For those cases, it 4 is multiplied with 1 by 3. So it is 4 by 3. And 4 by 3 you know is greater than 1. So don't go for wild gases in AIMS, BEATS, JIPMAR. Yes, we can go for wild gas when? When we can rule out at least a single option. If we rule out at least a single option, we are left with three option. Now three multiplied by one by three, yes, it is equal to one. So you can attempt such kind of questions. I will tell use your tricks to rule out more options. At least you can rule out one option only by using trick. So first of all, in ca ca case of Ames, Beats and Jipma, rule out at least two options first to get enough chance to acquire marks because once you cannot rule out this option in this kind of exams don't go for wild gas but coming to jamins and need which most of the students watching are 
uh, wanting to know more about is that in NEET and JMAINS, at least first rule out a single option. You, you, your idea should be that after st start, uh, reading the question for the first time, you should rule out at least a single option. In the second try, if you cannot rule out more option in the first try, you should rule out another option in the second try at least. And you should be left with only two options. So once you are left with your uh, most probable two options, you are now in the verge of number of option is equal to 2 and the ratio is 1 by 4. So you have 1 by 2 chance of getting the question right. Once you are left with the probability of 1 by 2 chance of getting the question right, you will either get plus 4 or you will lose minus 1. So half chance of getting plus 4, half chance of getting minus 1. So you will at least gain 2 or 3 out of uh, 3 marks at least actually so see there are two questions and you have marked one correct one you have done wrong so in if you can rule out two options in jmin so need for the question you did uh, do, uh, do, uh, give the correct answer you will be getting plus 4 for the wrong answer you will be getting minus 1 so plus 4 minus 1 is 3 so from the two questions which you do not know the answer you just by ruling out two options you gain three marks from those two questions if you attempt 20 such question you get 60 marks extra of the questions which you are thinking not to answer but because my video says you should go for such uh, such kind of questions you will be getting at least 60 marks for those 20 questions so my basic my, my, what i what i am telling is that for any of the questions where you can rule out uh, even a single option you should go for such kind of questions in JMINs and NEET. But don't go for uh, questions where you cannot at all rule out uh, any of the options in AIMS, BITS and JIPMA. So this was uh, for those who find it uh, very fearful to attempt more questions. And in the, uh, in the um, fear of such kind of uh, thing, they are left with attempting very little amount of number of questions and thus acquiring a very low score so it is my uh, advice to you again go for more number of questions if you want to score better and yes don't go for wild guess first use your best to apply tricks to rule out options because once you rule out option you are left with what nobody can prevent you from taking that exam so I'll tell you that best luck for the upcoming exams whoever is uh, appearing this year and yes best luck for those who will be developing themselves using these intelligent gases and yes do subscribe to JNA Dakash videos. I hope you will be sharing it with your friends. This will be really helpful for you to crack the and do subscribe. Do share with your friends and ask them to subscribe too. Keep watching JNA and help us to grow.